today's the day, apparently, that everybody in my neighborhood has decided to mow the lawn. So, sorry if you hear that in the background. Today's episode is sponsored by you. A lot of y'all have uh, recently subscribed and just been super cool and awesome and wonderful and nice. Um, so, thank you for being here. And I'd like to take this opportunity to say welcome to Camaraderie. This is a channel um, where I try to figure out how old cameras work and just generally explore the analog photography process. Sort of. That's what it started out as, but if you look through my recent videos you'll find everything from my musings on the philosophical benefits and applications of photography to um, videos that access the absurd little parts of my strange brain. <laughs> Hello there. As well as just, you know, whatever I feel like doing. And that brings us to today's topic. There are no rules. A couple of uploads ago, I mentioned this book by Michael Freeman, 50 Paths to Creative Photography. The first and, in my mind, the most important path is the first one, titled There Are No Rules. Now, you've probably heard it said about, you know, whatever your creative pursuit is that uh, you have to learn the rules before you can break them. While that old adage does make some sense, Michael Freeman asks a simple question. Why should there be any rules in what's ultimately a creative activity? Rules are designed to make things accurate and predictable and repeatable. And that's pretty much the opposite of what you want in a good, interesting photograph. Some of the more common rules of photography include things like well, for instance, the rule of thirds. Don't shoot into the sun. Avoid over or underexposing your pictures. Don't put your subject in the middle. Don't cut off people's heads. Um, actually, that last one might be um, a pretty good advice, actually. Unless you're revolting against the monarchy, in which case, go right ahead. Anyways, Michael Freeman does make a point of saying that while there aren't any rules, there are some psychological effects that kind of play into what we see, what we look at in a picture. The human eye is drawn to, among other things, um, eyes, um, faces in general, uh, sharp edges, contrast, um, writing in any sort of language. And you can use this information to help inform your decision making when you're in the act of taking a picture, and you can also use it to your advantage to lead your viewer's eyes through the photograph and see, you can help them see what you saw when you were taking the picture. You can put them in your perspective, and that's one of the most powerful things about photography. However, knowing and implementing this in and of itself will not make your pictures better or more interesting. The point is, any set of rules or bent rules or anti-rules even in photography uh, just lead to this kind of homogeny and everything ends up looking the same. And it all becomes a bit of a bore. And one begins to ask oneself if photography is even a worthwhile pursuit if one's work ends up just getting lost in a crowd of sameness. Thankfully, there's a pretty simple fix for that. Much like in this common experience of life that we all experience, in photography there are no rules. If it works, it works. Shoot what you want, how you want, where you want, when you want. Put your subject in the bottom corner of the frame. Blow the hell out of your highlights if it serves your vision. Play with ISO, aperture, shutter speed, composition and focus and shapes and size. Find out what works for you, and then never stop experimenting. Because, once again, there are no rules. Even the ones that you wind up making for yourself. And I find that incredibly refreshing and freeing. That's all I've got for you today. Um, let me know in the comments if you prefer wide-ruled paper or college-ruled paper. Or just a good old blank page because there are no rules, right? Personally, if I'm writing, I, uh, I'm pretty much a college-ruled kind of guy. Once again, thank you so much for um, all of you new people. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. Um, 
that's it. You're just wonderful and beautiful. You're not, there's, that's, that's where it ends. I'll be on this side of the camera in the next video. So until then, bye.